it's been quite a busy year for me as president of the dance society and that's really what i want to talk to you about this month i'd like to talk to you about what it's like to have been the president of such a big society some of the challenges i've faced how i felt about doing it and everything like that that's the the topic of this vlog i decided to become the president of the society literally just before the agm last March, I guess, so just over a year ago. And the process with the dance society is, uh, I mean, with any society, they have to give you at least 10 days notice. And I think I literally decided the week of the AGM that I was gonna run. And then I had to prepare a two minute speech, basically just telling the society members what I wanted to do as president, why I'd be a good president. And then I had to sit and anxiously wait for um, their votes to see if I would be elected or not. I was elected, so I was very lucky in that respect, but yeah, very, very nervous time. But I didn't officially take over the society until June, which was when handover was, but I'd already started making plans by then. So like as soon as the AGM results were announced, I got my committee together and we booked next year's show because the Taliesin books are quite far in advance and started getting to know each other because obviously we spend so much time working together that we needed to get to know each other and work and like sort of form bonds, friendships. So that was nice because we like there were members in my committee that I didn't know before, and uh, now I say they're like best friends stuff like that. So yeah, really lovely in that respect. But like I said, we didn't start properly until June. That was when we officially took over. There was a handover day that mm, I wouldn't have said it was the most useful thing. We found out a couple of useful things, but it was I think it was more useful the, the massive document that the previous president gave me. It was pages and pages long but it had basically everything that I needed to know about running the society, um, so that took me ages to go through. So over the year, we have done lots of successful events. Um, we did Pink Week for we're wearing pink to class to raise money for breast cancer now, we, which we raised 70 pounds um, for them, so that was good. We did a massive Strictly Come Dancing event, which is where the sports teams, captains, pair up with some of our teachers and do routine like learn routines over about three or four weeks and then they perform them in a local venue all the money goes towards charity this year we raised 758 pounds for teenage cancer trust which obviously is a huge huge um achievement i'm so proud of what we did very stressful event but <laughs> it pulled off in the end and we all had a good night uh boxing one i think yeah boxing and hip-hop one so that was uh, a nice event to like nice way to end it. It's a very clever routine. They incorporated the, the, the boxer's sport into it. So instead of just being a dance routine, it was a dance routine about boxing, which I thought that was very clever um, to incorporate the sport. Our biggest event of the year is our annual showcase. So that took place like the weekend just gone. Incredible, but so stressful. Yeah, there were a lot of hurdles on the way, particularly in terms of like, I always said as a president that what I wanted to do was make the society somewhere that everybody could go to because a lot of dance societies at unis are very elitist I would say whereas we're a very inclusive society we include everybody we we don't turn anybody away from our classes or um, anything we had some hurdles in terms of that and I just had to say to my committee like, pl like please trust me so this was one of the big challenges I think is that there, there were some things that cropped up along the way and I just sort of had to ask the the committee to trust me because I, I knew that we could pull it off I think there was a bit of uncertainty and yes it was there were there were times when it was very unclear even to me how to proceed and I ended up going to the union and advice and support a lot to try and get some help and even then it wasn't clear I had to I spent a lot of time getting my head around what I was being told working out different action plans things like that um, I can't really go into too much detail yeah it okay it all pulled off in the end and I I think that I feel a massive sense of achievement knowing that I've been able to let the dance society be a place where everybody can come and join no matter what their backgrounds are, what their lifestyle is, everything like that. I feel a, a, a big sense of achievement there and um, everyone that I've spoken to really enjoyed the show, they said it was a massive hit. Last year's committee came and watched and they all thoroughly enjoyed it. So obviously the big shoes to fill because I felt like their show went went very well. Our show was called Empowerment. So obviously that's, that's a, a big message here that we want to empower our dancers. Dance makes people feel empowered. And as part of that, that's everyone should feel empowered. And yeah, I feel like I feel like it all fit together really well in the end. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of a lot of hours. One thing I would say is that I 
have potentially let my uni work slip a little bit. So I've got a lot of catching up to do now. It's what I'll probably be spending my next couple of weeks doing. So that's gonna be interesting, catching up on all of that. I would, because being president of such a big society, it just, it takes a lot of time. There's a lot of admin to do. And I think that's a big thing. One of the uh, biggest challenges for me, I would say, over the year is it took me a long time to realise how much I needed to delegate. With smaller societies, I guess it might not be such a big thing, but we are a massive society. We have over 270 members and 30, over like 30 classes a week. Teach it. We have teachers, we have dancers, we have students, we have non-students. It's a huge, huge, huge society. With that comes a lot of work and obviously the different events that we put on the weekly classes, everything like that, it all comes with quite a lot of work. And for a long time, I had a way of knowing what I wanted, how I wanted things to be done and doing them. And I think it took me a long time to relinquish some of that control, ask people to ask for help from the rest of my committee. Like obviously they had their own roles, like I wasn't gonna take that away from them, but there were things that were very generalist and I feel like I should have asked for support and it took me a long time. So like even up to Strictly, which was November, I think I still was very much trying to do as much as I could and as well as trying to do my uni work and it got to a point where I burnt out so much over December because I just had tried to do so much and then I think this semester I feel like I've sort of got into it a lot more in terms of knowing when I need to ask for help and obviously yes this semester has been a lot busier with planning the show but I think it's good that by that point I'd learned that I needed to delegate because I couldn't do it all by myself. And my committee are brilliant, they've been absolutely amazing, I would not have been able to do what we've done this year without them. I've got friends for life there, they, yeah, they, they, they're amazing. I've got them all like flowers and nice little photograph of us all, um, as like thank you presents which I gave to them at the, the show and just sort of did a little speech about them all, wrote them a nice little message and a card and um, they got me a lovely, <laughs> same wavelength they got me. Um, a, a photo frame with a couple of photos of us in too so I'll be putting that up when I go home. It's so lovely that we've all come together like yes there have been challenges there have been times there's definitely been times when we haven't all got along but like because you've always got different personalities and things like that you're not always going to get along but I think we have we had regular meetings like every two weeks it got to a point where we obviously just had to accept that we weren't always going to get along but I think there were also nice moments so like when we came together to do the committee routine we hadn't had the easiest of rides up to there because there'd been differing opinions on obviously what i'd said before about wanting to achieve things that, I, that they didn't think that we possibly could achieve but coming together to choreograph and do what we love to get, like dance and do what we love um it brought us all together and i think that was such a nice day because we realized we were back into our where we first met and we were first becoming friends and uh, we were all excited about it all and everything like that so that was really lovely so next year's committee have been elected uh, our OGM was a couple of weeks ago at one of our rehearsals so uh, I guess I can start handover now I've got to I've done a small document to, uh, telling them to sort of start getting to know each other and to book the show and things like that but I've got to start preparing my massive like 80 page handover book which will tell them everything that they need to know that's going to take quite a lot of time I think. I'll probably focus on that once my exams are out of the way. So the next year's president is Rochelle who's on my current committee. So it'd be nice for them to have somebody who's had the experience of being on committee because we were a very new committee, nobody had been on, um, the, like none of us had been on committee before or anything. I was a teacher last year but none of the others were so it was very much, we were a very much fresh face on the society. But next year it'd be nice to have somebody who has that experience as well, whether I'm in the show or whether I'm just watching I'll obviously be around to support. Um, next year in however way they need and um, I think um, yeah I'm very much looking forward to having a bit more of my time back and not being so tired all the time and not having such a commitment um, but I will obviously miss it because it's been it's been a brilliant year so there you go um, that's a little bit about what it's been like to be president of the society some of the challenges I've been through some of the amazing things that we've achieved it has been amazing and I, I, I am actually quite sad that I'm passing it on soon but also quite relieved that I will be able to sleep without thinking about what messages there are to reply to, what I haven't done, what's on my to-do list for the next day, everything like that because it's a constant cycle of 
what, what needs to be done for the dance society at the moment. And so I'm looking forward to a bit of a break from that, but it's been, it's been a brilliant year. I've got memories that I'll cherish forever. I've become friends with people that I wouldn't have become friends with probably if I hadn't been on committee. And um, I'm very proud of what we've achieved and where we've got to.